what made Tiddalik laugh. It's an Australian story of a, a rather greedy frog that drank up all the water from the earth and it made it really bad for the other animals because they had no water. And then when I read the book, I thought, you know what? I can create this story. So I'm just gonna have a go at creating the story for you because it's inspired me to create it. Here we go. There was this big frog called Tiddly, the frog, and Tiddly was a small frog, but then Tiddly drank up all the water. All the water that the animals usually share in the billabong and in the streams and in the rivers and Tiddalik, the big frog, just goes really thirsty and went something like So Tiddalik drank up all the water in the world. There was no water left. And the little frog became a big frog called Tiddalik. And then all the other animals had no water to drink. So the other animals had a big problem they had to talk together and work out how can we get this frog to put the water back? And one of the clever animals said, you know, I think we have to make Tiddalik laugh. And if we can make Tiddalik the big frog laugh, all the water will spill back and we'll have some water to drink. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. So they all decided to do some things to make Tiddalik the frog laugh. And the kangaroo went in front of Tiddalik the big frog and did some dances. <laughs> and you know what? That big frog Tiddalik just sat there and looked. I couldn't make Tiddalik the big frog laugh at all. So then Emu come along and said, you know what? I can do a funny dance and I can make that big frog laugh. Watch this, Tiddalik. <laughs> Tiddalik just sat there and no water come out of Tiddalik's mouth and they had a really big problem. So Koala suggested, you know what, we have this bird, special bird called a kookaburra that sits up in the old gum tree and it laughs at me every time I walk past. So Ko Koala said, I'm going to get kookaburra to do its famous laugh. So kookaburra up in the old gum tree talked to koala and koala talked to kookaburra and you know what happened? <laughs> and you know what? After all that laughing from the kookaburra, Tiddalik the big frog just sat there. No water came out. And then this very special animal called a platypus was deep in its burrow and it heard all the dancing and commotion up on the top and it decided to go up and see what was going on up there. Out, so out from its burrow it went and this special animal called the platypus is really is quite special because this animal has webs like a duck, fur like a kangaroo and last of all it has a bill just like a duck has. So the platypus come out of the water, out of its burrow and talk to that big frog. And, and you know what? With that very strange animal with a bill like a duck or a duck's bill and webbed hands like a duck's paddling feet and fur like a kangaroo that big frog was thought that is the strangest animal i've ever seen and a little dribble of water come out of its mouth and then it was started to smile and then it started to laugh and then when it was laughing all of that water come back out of its big tummy and all the animals had something to drink. Something like this. <laughs> and Tiddalik, that big frog, turned back into t 
he licked the normal size frog and all of the animals got to come back to the water hole and have a drink.